Chico Quasi. My preparation is going really good. I've been doing a lot of trainings, more than usual. Mike always got special training for me, so we've been training three times, two times a day, every day. So just small steps, small details. Other gyms don't have, I think. Mike watched a lot of boxing, so we got the small details, small techniques, small differences that make us a better fighter. Yeah, the fight of Myrtle, uh, uh, yeah, it was uh, yeah, sad to see for me. Of course, Myrtle is one of my idols since I stepped here in the first time in the, into the gym. It was sad to see, see him go down like three times in the fight. But it's the fight game and that's what it is. And uh, I got nothing personal against Samuelier, but I just seeing a fight and I think, yeah, that's a fighter, a fighter I also want to fight. And now you got Samuelier against Joe Vermeer. And Joe Vermeer is the guy I want to fight, of course. And uh, I hope they have a good fight. I hope they have a good fight against each other. And maybe after this, I could face the loser of, or the loser, the guy who's going to lose this time. And then uh, after that, maybe I can go for the title. Who I want in my next fight is uh, or uh, Alim Nabiev or the guy who loses this title, title fight. So the loser of Samuelier versus Joe Vermeer. I want one of those guys next. I would love to have, I would love to have a four-man tournament. I always win tournaments. Till this day, I didn't lose one tournament. And I would love it, yeah. I'm, I'm always sharp, my condition is good, so yeah, I'm ready for tournament also. Four men, eight men, I don't care. Let's go. Uh, the top five, I think. Uh, me, um, Nabiev, of course. Uh, who else do you got? Mm, I don't know if Amisha's fighting at 85 or 77, but if he's fighting 77, he, he's gonna also uh, need to be in the tournament. And the guy who loses, the number one. The guy who loses this fight, uh, 17 of June. I think of Roman as a good fighter. An orthodox, he got some spinning moves, but I don't know if they're really effective against me. We will see, but I don't think so. I see him as a good fighter. Indeed, he's a durable fighter. He comes to fight, but I see a lot of uh, yeah weak spots. Yeah, I see a lot of weak spots. I've been uh, studying his fights the last couple of days, and I see a lot of weak spots. So I'm gonna use them against him. Previous to the first fight, for less, uh, or first fight we fought at 81. And at that moment I was a 75 kilo fighter, but uh, Mike offered me the fight and I said, of course, yes. I don't care what weight or when or how. So I, j I just said yes. It was an 80 kilo, 80 kilo fight and it didn't feel really well because I was slower because I had five kilo extra on me. So um, it still was a good fight and still I won. Like it was no sweat, it was okay, good, good fight. And I, I didn't have Mike in my corner. This time I have Mike in my corner, so we're going to beat him up extra. And at my weight class 77, so yeah, I'm going to run straight through him, that's for sure. I was watching the rankings and I saw myself at number six. And I saw Sirius at number four and I was just like, this is not right. So I posted, I posted something in my story and I tagged him and I got no response. Then I tagged his brother, I got no response. And then I was like, yeah, fuck it, maybe I got to DM him. So I DM'd him, I got a weird response. So I asked yes or no, and he said yes. So I was like, okay, let's go. And I tagged uh, Ro uh, Roby, and I wanted to fight 29th of April, but it was too soon because glory card was already full. And then now we're fighting 27th of May. My prediction is, uh, but I see in my head is a second round knockout, just like my last fight, but. Yeah, that's, ju that's just what I see in my head. What I see in my head is seeing him laying on the floor and me in the ring, like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs>